Hello everyone, hope you're well. I feel like looking in the uh, viewfinder, it looks like I literally live in like a plant garden. I've got, it feels like I've got so much greenery around me, but I just wanted to come on here today to do a collective haul. This is my favorite time of video to watch. I have been buying a few things, collecting a few things. But first of all, I thought I would start off with the top that I'm wearing. This is gonna probably be a bit mishmashy. I'm probably gonna start by like category of brand and then I might do accessories right at the end because I know not everyone's into accessories. But the top that I'm wearing, or the shirt rather, is from Topshop. It's one of those tops that I feel like I need to get a nude bandeau bra for, but it's this gorgeous shirt, which if I stand up, I will show you guys <laughs> like this. It's got like, um, people all over it but I kind of want to wear a strapless bra because I don't want my straps to show like on there but I absolutely fell in love with this when I saw it look at these sleeves top shot we're loving this detail I just wish it was slightly more opaque I also love like the blue it's not like a black it's kind of like um yeah like a blueprint and it kind of goes with my little earrings which are from mango so I just feel all like special in my little shirt um if you work this is such a cool shirt so Thumbs up from Topshop. I also got this skirt from Topshop, which yes, I know, I think I have. About 10 satin skirts in my wardrobe. I don't need another one, but I loved this print and I actually do wear them. And it actually gets me out of my comfort zone and makes me wear like skirts. So I got this one and I took this to Budapest with me, which by the way, I love Budapest. It was such a good getaway, had such a nice time really needed it i'm so happy i went so um i wore this on one of the days i actually got like wore this to wear for the evenings out but i wore it on one of the days because it was like supposedly meant to be 20 degrees that day i froze my butt off like froze my butt off so i'm still probably um not in the weather to wear this but i love this print top shop probably are doing the nicest satin skirts in my opinion i've got about two from them now um if you kind of want a cheap ish one that is good quality when i was in duty free and i kind of have this thing like i love going to duty free like looking at all the perfumes like i spray myself with like 20 different perfumes um i will go and look at the sunglasses and that's like my thing that i do at duty free well I saw these glasses from, they were either Saint Laurent or Celine, I think they were Celine, and they kind of had this print, this like orangey acetate kind of vibe, and fell in love with them, but I was like, they're kind of expensive for what they are, but I had seen these on Zara before my trip, and I bought them, because I was like, I don't really have anything like this in my wardrobe, I want to mess up my hair, because do you know how long it takes to hairspray this hairstyle, <laughs> so I don't want to mess it up, but I literally love these so if you're looking for like a more expensive looking pair of sunglasses check out these from Zara they also have a different style in the same colorway another thing I want to mention and I literally had about a hundred questions on my last video um, my nasty gal haul video asking me about these jeans and you literally could only see like half of them you couldn't even see all of them but I had so many people asking me about them and I thought I would talk about them again these are a tried and true item that I've worn for like two weeks straight now and it's just this pair of jeans from Zara these I got in a 38 um, so if you're kind of my size then that's what probably will fit you they have like a tiny bit of distressing but they're not like so distressed that they kind of end up looking slightly cheap they have a slight distressing there as well they literally fit the length of my leg perfectly they hit on like the end of my calf perfectly i'm gonna keep saying perfectly and they're so comfortable like i wore these on the flight i pretty much wore them the whole time i was in budapest because you know when you go on holiday i'll pack loads of stuff and then i'll end up wearing like the same three things because you just kind of notice on the first day what the weather's gonna be like, what the vibe is like. So my friend and I were like, literally, we could have bought another two jumpers and been like, fine. Um, so love these jeans. If you're looking for like a, the way I would describe these is like a boyfriend, a boyfriend jean is exactly the way I'd describe it, but with a girly twist, because they're not so boyfriend that they're like, uncut like flattering they're definitely more on the comfortable side so they're definitely not tight or anything but that's what makes them great um i had the most like worst flight experience i think of my life coming back um from budapest with my friend we we flew with wiz um if any of you guys have flown with them before i will never fly with them again like i'm not one of those people that is like oh my god i'm gonna boycott this place and like never go but no, no but literally i'm never flying with them again I don't think I have ever had an air hostess have such heavy feet 
in my life. I can still hear her feet ringing in my brain. And just it was just a, a, a horrendous flight, but those jeans made it more comfortable, so thank you, Zara. For those poor few of you that thought you were gonna get a quick haul, oh no, this is gonna be one of those Barbara classic 30 minute hauls. Um, another item from Zara is this waistcoat. Waistcoats are everywhere, like Mango has a cream one that's gorge. Um, that I was kind of thinking if I don't get wear out of this, like if I see this still in my wardrobe, I might go and get that one because I love like a camel, a camel waistcoat. I just think it'll be gorgeous. But this is like a checked one. I just thought this would be really cool. Like I can wear it for work, but I can also wear it casual because it's still got that smart element. But you guys know I will always casual it up. Um, this was forty nine ninety nine. They do it in two size, um, different sizes and. Yeah, I still haven't worn it though, so that normally isn't a good sign because I've had it for a while. But one thing that I have worn to death, and I have to actually thank Sheer Lux for this purchase because I think Lou, so Sheer Lux is like an online magazine. I've spoken about them so many times on my channel, but I love watching them. They do like a behind the scenes segment where they show the online magazine and they show the girls going out and doing things. and. Um, I watched Georgie, who's the founder, and I think Lou do a Zara haul, and they showed this coat, and it's a navy, um, like, these are the kind of coats that Zara do, they're not thick, but I kind of like that, because you can kind of layer with them, so they're those kind of, like, really thin material coats, but this is in a gorgeous navy colour, I don't even know if the camera is showing up that it is navy, maybe there, sorry about the lighting guys, it's the gloomiest day ever. But guys, I love this coat. I wore it in Budapest nearly every day. Um, and I have about six of these coats, like in different colors, like camel, gray. Um, I have like a light beige one that my mum stole. Um, I have so many colors of them. And I just really felt like navy was one of the colors that I needed to add to my wardrobe. Like even look at this together. So chic. Navy is such an underrated color. And personally, let me know down below. Do you guys think black and navy go together? I do. Um, I wore black and navy and yeah it's just the perfect perfect coat i'll insert a photo of me wearing it in budapest but you can't really see it um but i'm so glad i got that and it's definitely still in stores now so let's move on to the mango stuff and then i will do the accessories at the end because i think i've got some zara accessories too mango is killing it you guys like i love zara like don't get me wrong but sometimes i'm just like I don't want to be wearing the same thing as every single other girl like in London, which listen, I don't really care because I think you always add your own spin to things, but it's kind of nice like not walking down the road and having everyone wear the same thing as you. And I feel like mango, not everyone wears mango. Don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe people do. But I thought I would start off with, I will start off with the accessory, the first one that I got because I'm still on the hunt for the perfect belt bag, guys. Like I have a couple, but I never really end up wearing them. Like. I don't know, don't know what you guys think. Maybe I'm just wasting my money, but I saw this one and I fell in love with it. Like, Ravia, if you're watching this, I will be wearing this on our next little shoot day because this is so cute. And it's this little belt bag, it's white, which I have literally no white bags. Yeah, like no white bags in my collection because obviously they get dirty. But when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. And like, because it's white, because you're putting it around yourself, you're probably not gonna get as many like marks on it. Um, and I just thought it looks really summery. It kind of looks like something my mom would have had um, like when she was younger. Like it looks very retro. And yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? Although it probably will rub there from my jeans. But I also love the vibe of like a belt bag around you. So we shall see, we shall see what Bob thinks. I saw these and I was like, I think these are gonna change my footwear game. I love them. Before I went away, I was gonna get myself a pair of Converse. I love like Chuck Taylors, whatever you wanna call them, I call them Converse. Um, but just a pair of black ones because they're just a classic to have in your wardrobe. But I feel like these are like that, but the kind of more summery, girly version. And they have them in another colorway. Now I'm kind of thinking I should have got them, got them in the other colorway. They have them in like a pink, um, a pink, they're like a pink, gray, and white. I don't know now. I don't know if I'm gonna like this colorway as much, but I love the, the, the vibe of them. And it's these trainers. Like, how cool are these? Like, they've kind of got that, again, like 80s vibe to me. Um, there's, again, something that I totally can imagine my mum wearing, but they look kind of small as well. Maybe I should have got size six. But I absolutely fell in love with them. I thought these were like, 
cutesy dresses in the summer if you don't want to wear a sandal like you haven't painted your toes you know that kind of thing like these are so 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 cool again i will put a picture up of the other colorway on the screen vote down below what you guys think for me i probably will get them the only thing i was thinking is they're white and i kind of wanted something a little bit different but i don't know if these look like puke puke greeny yellow I don't know but the concept's great the concept is there and again these were so not expensive they were like 35 pounds which is obviously cheaper than um your converse's too so we will keep you updated on that one we're not sold as yet i feel like i'm doing all the accessories first i'm sorry okay what the hell did i get i know i only ordered this like yesterday but oh my god why did i order two you know sometimes if you don't check your basket properly you end up like buying double of the stuff. I don't actually think I like this. I really want one of those seashell necklaces that you see every girl and her mum wearing on Instagram. But I don't know if this looks kind of cheap, like you bought it at, you know, like the seaside, which I know is probably what the vibe's meant to be. I accidentally bought two. I probably just had two as a quantity in my basket. Um, I do that a lot. But I don't actually know if I'm even gonna open this. I don't know if I like it. What do you guys think? I might try it on. And then I got something else, which is probably a pair of earrings. And then this is a ring. Oh yes, I wanted this. <gasps> I've been looking for like a signet ring for so long. This says mango 24K gold plated mango. <gasps> Sorry guys, my camera cut off. You guys all need to go out and get this ring. I don't know if it will fit the finger that I wanted it to fit. Okay, I don't know if it will fit this finger, which is actually the finger that I wanted it to go on. This says, the gold-plated piece will age beautifully over time. We recommend you to avoid contact with perfumes, blah, 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 blah. But I have wanted a ring like this for so long. It wasn't cheap. I think it was like £20. But honestly, guys, I love mango jewellery. Okay, I need to get this in the larger size for this finger now. Oh my god, love this. And I'm definitely going to be looking at more of their rings. How gorgeous is that, guys? Like, so simple, so timeless. I got myself some shorts. Now, I don't know if I can pull off shorts. I can't even remember the last time I wore a pair of shorts. I do like wearing them with thigh highs, but to just wear a short pair of shorts with, like, nothing. But I kind of love that whole, like, cycle short vibe with a blazer, but my legs are not the one to be doing that with. No one needs to see that. So I kind of thought, like, a pair of shorts like this would look kind of cool with that but they're kind of longer but really cool obviously i will try these things on for you guys as i normally do then i got this because this is kind of the outfit that i'm thinking of wearing on my birthday um everyone is coming around to my flat and we're gonna have like my mum's making like little crostini if you guys know what they are it's basically just bread and cheese but like in the oven um and we're gonna have like salamis out and stuff for everyone you know like a little bit of like a um buffet style thing but I really thought this was really cute. Tell me guys what you think. I got these cute shorts. How gorgeous are they? And um, I'm kind of vibing this with the matching top. I'm gonna to show it to you guys in a second. But instead of wearing a dress, I kind of feel like I always have to push the boundary a little bit. Um, last year I wore like a paisley print jumpsuit. So why not do another print this year? But I loved these. And I thought these in the summer with just a white t-shirt is something that I could definitely do with sandals. So it's not kind of like something that I can only wear once. And then I also got the matching top, as I said. So this is the matching kind of like pajama style shirt. Oh my God, I love it. I love the colors as well. My collar is gonna go all funny. This is so cute. I don't think you're gonna get the full vibe of it like off. I will obviously try it on for you guys, even though I wanna save it for my birthday, but like whatever. Then got this because I thought it'd be great for this kind of weather that we're having. And I also feel like this is such a basic. So if this is, then I hope that everyone goes out and gets this because it looks so nice on the website. And yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay, if you guys imagine like California girl, but like it's in the evening and it's a little bit cold and she has this gorgeous like cream knit on, this is kind of exactly what I envisage. And it's just exactly that. It's just a basic cream knit. No frills, no like bells and whistles, nothing crazy, just exactly what you want. Um, for this kind of weather, especially where you're like, you go out and then you get cold, you can just chuck this on over a white t-shirt and you're kind of like good to go. The other good thing that attracted me was I think it was literally only like 35 pounds, which some people might think that's a lot of money, but for a good quality knit, I just really like the color. I just can't imagine anyone 
not liking this. And I was also vibing like my trainers, my puke color trainers with this. Um, but again, I don't know, I have to try these on. They also, like I said, look a bit small. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. I kind of like everything in this in this haul like goes together because that jumper kind of goes with the short, the first and the second one. And then I think it might go with these trousers that I'm gonna show you guys. They basically have this range of denim, which I love to wear in the summer because it's so light. I fell in love with these. Again, I got them in two sizes, so I don't know which one will fit, but guys, can we just appreciate these trousers? Oh my God. So basically they're like a denim wide leg trouser. This is everything that I love in the summer. This again, even with the knit, this with even the top that I just showed you guys, this would go with so many different things. But what I got it to go with, some of you guys might think I'm cuckoo -coo -coo as Charles Burris would say, is that his name? I think it is. And basically this will be like a whole denim vibe, which to some people that might be like way over the top, but I just think it's so chic because the denim actually matches, which I love a double denim non-matching look as much as I like a double denim matching look. So we shall see, but I loved this colorway. Like look against my skin tone. I really, really think denim, this kind of shade just goes with everybody, like their skin tone. That's why I also got the dress. Again, I like lived in dresses like this in the summer. If you guys remember my like paisley print Zara dress, I then have a striped one that was like a linen and I still have them. I didn't sell them because I loved them. Um, I wore them to work so much when it was so hot. You'd be surprised it will just sell out and I just don't want that to happen. And I kind of also like this on, you know those like random days that we've been getting where are hot, like all of a sudden London will just decide that it wants to be hot. Um, I just think this will be really chic. I'm definitely not showing you guys any of these things well in this video. Like I'm literally showing you them so badly. What size is this? Medium. Um, but I will try them on for you guys, which this is going to be such a mission to try all this stuff on. I also have to show you guys this suit that I bought. This is another contender of something that I'm going to wear on my birthday. Um, I'm just not decided. So if that short combination top thing goes to pot, then I'm going to end up wearing this because this color is everything. You've got a peep of it. So these are the trousers and they're that kind of like paper bag, nah, they're not paper bag, kind of like a very manzy style trouser, but they're in this gorgeous like baby mint color. I again don't think this color will not suit anybody. I think it would suit everybody. Um, again, I don't have to wear this with the matching blazer. I can wear it just like on its own with a white tee, gray tee. I love gray and mint together and they're just the perfect length. If you find you go to shops and you want that kind of trouser that skims over your trainers and you don't have to wear heels with and you're about five foot six like me, these are your trousers because sometimes they can be so long. Um, and these, I think, I got them in store. These are $49.99, so they are not cheap, but this is my birthday outfit, so like, you know, go big or go home. And then I got the matching I feel like everyone is gonna unsubscribe from my videos because I buy so many blazers. I got the matching blazer. <laughs> Guys, if I get wear out of them, like there's there's no, it's kind of like people who buy like Louis Vuitton. This is like my Louis Vuitton. You know, like people who have like channels who, yeah, like they buy loads of Louis Vuitton, different canvas stuff. This is my Louis Vuitton canvas for me. Do you guys know what I mean? Um, or a person that buys loads of denim. Do you guys? You guys get me. Um, perfect, perfect mint blazer, like gorgeous. Um, and this is Mango Premium apparently, I don't know what that means. Um, you know how these stores do like different lines and stuff, but absolutely love this color. Again, it will interchange with pretty much all of those things that I showed you guys. They will even go with the peak trainers. My mum and I were going to order me a cake for my birthday and we went to Lola's, um, but we ended up not going with them in the end. Oh my God, I just held this up and I did this and I was like, I'm not 62. Please do not add like 40 years onto your age, Barbs. So I'm gonna be 26. So um, we got these from Lola's Cupcakes. I just wanted to show you guys because I'm totally losing my voice. This is how you know it's gonna be a long Barbara video. Um, I didn't know they do like candle, um, like cute candles, but look how cute these are. They didn't have the matching colors, but I thought it was cute, like a pink and a blue. I need to get water. I then also wanted to show you guys I have, I don't know where these go. You know how people have like um, hair clips that go missing? I don't, I have black work trousers that go missing. But I've bought myself again, which I cannot 
tell you guys enough if you work and you want a pair of comfortable black trousers that feel like you're wearing jogging bottoms you need to get the mango ones i will link them down below so many of you guys bought these um, when i last showed them in a video and i will tell you guys i now know that you need to size down in these because if you wash them they will they will like you know what i mean like you just need you need a smaller size you will fit into it i promise you and they're literally 20 pounds you need them in your life i also have the blue the blue ones don't go missing but the black ones seem to always go missing and then i also got these pair of jeans from um, mango because i find mango jeans actually really fit me um very very well like i've got my ones that are like a weird front thing um they've got like a weird front closure and they fit me like a glove so I got these from Mango, they're just a basic like mum fit, which is actually exactly what they're called, um, mum fit jean um, in a really nice light wash because like we're going into like spring summer now so it's time to get the light wash jeans out but again I thought they'd look cool with my pukey trainers so I got them. For those of you who have got this far, can you comment down below saying jewellery because then I will know that you've watched up until now. So I've got quite a bit of new jewellery recently because I love jewellery as you can probably tell. Um, most of it is from Mango. I'm just placing them very nicely on my lap <laughs> so I can show you guys because I've worn most of it. Um, but these are the only ones from Zara that I got and they are just a really cute little hoop with a pearl on it. These are just so dainty, so pretty. They really make an outfit and pearls are literally everywhere this season. So if you haven't got some earrings like that, you need to. I then got some simple hoops from Mango. I don't have a good pair of silver hoops and I really like these. The only thing is the little closure is like stiff as hell. Um, so if you like them, you just need to have um, Popeye's arms to be able to open them. But these are $9.99 not cheap but i do find mango's jewelry like really lasts my favorite jewelry ever is and other stories a mango if you like you know like on trend cheapy jewelry that you don't really want to spend a lot of money on but you don't want to tarnish in two seconds topshop jewelry tarnishes quite a bit i'm sorry topshop it does but their jewelry seems to last really well i've literally had this and other stories ring now you guys know for so long and i wash my hands i put hand gel on my hands i used to do vaccines so like i literally used to wash my hands so much like after each patient and it still doesn't tarnish i then got these uh, earrings from mango and as soon as i saw them i was like need these earrings and they're like a resin clear hoop but they're quite thick and how chic are these like they're so gorgeous i do this hairstyle a lot so um having a cool bold earring is the one and then i'm sure you guys know my hoops from mango again i've worn these so much and have put hairspray on them like done so much at work wearing these and they have not even tarnished a tiny bit well they've brought out the baby version from mango so for those of you who work in a very very like conservative environment and you're not really allowed a hoop i think you can push the boundary with the baby one um so i will link these down below i'll also link the bigger one if they have it but that looks like that is my haul um i hope you guys have enjoyed it i know i can speak for ages but i love these kind of videos so let me know down below if you do too um let me know what your favorite item is from this video and i also think top shop still has a code for 20 percent off so i will try and link that down below if you love this top so if you watched this far you will have got that tip as well so i love you guys all lots take care of yourselves and i hope you're all having a really really good month and i'll see you all soon bye